Hey and welcome back to another Dark Fall tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can easily add a watermark to your videos. So the first thing you want to do is create the watermark. So you need to do this once and then you don't need to worry about it again. I'm going to quickly show you how I make mine. But if you've already made your watermark, just jump ahead two minutes into the video and uh, yeah, I'll show you how to add that in. So I've just set the resolution and also under film I want to check transparent to make sure it's uh, an alpha transparent image. I also want to go to the world settings and change this colour to pure white. Okay, so now I can set the camera, I want to press number pad 7 to go to top view, then align the camera, just move this over a little bit. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is add the, um, the text object, so the name of your channel. So shift A, add a text, where is it? Oh, there it is. I'll scale this up a little bit, and then tab into edit mode, and just type the name of your channel. move this over there a little bit. So we want to change this font, so we go to the font tab and then down under font, make sure you select regular and then we can open up your font and just place it wherever you want. I'm also going to add a little, few little details like a background, maybe the tree for the logo. You just want to do this now, arrange it and then uh, add all the objects that you want. It doesn't have to be black and white, it can be colour, it can be anything you want, it's up to you. Okay, so when you're happy with that, just render this out. Just make sure it looks okay. Yeah, it looks fine. So I'm just going to press F3 to uh, save this out. Save this to one of your folders. So now we can uh, press File, then New. Every time you want to add a watermark to your videos, this is how you do it. You just change this to the Video Sequence Editor. Split this window, drag this down, and then change this. If we select the checker tab there, and we can change this to a background so we can see what we're doing. So look, we can add it from the bottom, or we can press Shift A like in 3D view. We just add in a mover. You can zoom around and place the, um, the viewer where you want. Also, same for the timeline. Okay, so we can see that the movie clip is longer than the timeline, so we can just set that now. If we scrub through, we see the timeline ends at 250, but the clip's around, say, 500. So what we want to do is press E while you're hovered over the timeline, and it'll just set the end frame for you. Okay, so in most programs, the audio is usually on the bottom, but in Blender's case, the video's on the bottom and the audio's on the top, so as long as you know that, then uh, there's no trouble. I think you can move around as well, but yeah, as long as you understand which one's the video and which one's the movie, then uh, the audio, then you should be fine. Okay, so we just want to add in an image, which is the image we created. Now we can see that the image lasts like, say, 50 frames or something, so we want to make that longer. Um, and also we want to make sure it's alpha overed. So we can right click on the edge of it here and drag it out. Or even easier, what we can do is press N to bring up the properties tab. We can uh, right click on the movie clip. We can see that the length is 510, so we can press Ctrl C and copy that. If we right click now on the watermark and then we just paste in the uh, the length, it's now the correct length. So the last thing we need to do is just make sure it's alpha over, which is pretty simple. So the way this works, we right click the movie clip, then we shift and right click the watermark. Shift A and add we want to add an effect strip, so there's loads of different effects you can add to it, but the one we want for now is alpha over. Select that one. And there you go, and you've got your watermark already on your, your video clips. Not that easy to see on this footage, I should have chose a different move clip, but you can see that it works fine. If we scrub through, it stays where it is. So there's a few things we can tweak while we're here. If you right click on the watermark rather than on, because the alpha over was already selected, so make sure you click the watermark. Come here to the properties, there's a few things we can change. If we check image offset, we can move this around a little bit. So if you're not happy with it on the left hand side, you can move it around. You can move it literally anywhere you want. Just by manipulating these values here. 
Also, if you've got a colour image, you can also um, desaturate or boost the saturation if you wanted to. But since this is um, black and white, that's not going to make a difference. We can also um, change the, well, this multiply value is literally the opacity value. So if you want it to be faded or, you know, a little bit showing, then that's how you can do it. We can also um, keyframe these values, so we set this back to 1. We press I to add a keyframe, then we go back to the first frame, and then change this to 0, press I to add a keyframe. Now we can see that the uh, the watermark sort of fades in, so if you want that effect, it's pretty simple to do as well. So there's loads of different modifiers as well you can add on to not just the watermark, but also to the video file. Um, and it can change the colours and loads of different things, so if you want to play around with that, but when you're happy with everything, um, I just simply want to add a watermark, so when you're happy with that, if we just give that a quick render, we see it takes like less than a second very very quickly to render that one frame, which is very very useful, especially just for adding a watermark. So let's check, make sure all the settings here are what you want it to be, so resolution is fine, frame rate is fine, your output, you want to make sure you put this somewhere. So we want to change the file type, the file format from a PNG. You can choose any one of these um, as long as it's a movie file. I'm going to choose H.264 since that works fine for me. Check encoding. Um, all these settings here should work fine as standard. The only thing we want to change is this audio codec. Um, since we've got an audio file here, we need to add some audio codec. So I'm going to choose MP3. That seems to work fine for me. Again, you can choose any setting you want. Play around with it see what works for you and then yeah just render that off and we'll see how quickly this is in real time how quick it, it renders the um, your video file see it should be fading in since we added the fade but it's very useful see this is only 500 frames which is really nothing normally when I do tutorials or add the watermarks to videos it could be maybe 15,000 20,000 something like that very useful to have a quick way to render this off um, yeah, for your watermark so yeah I hope that this tutorial helped if it did make sure you give it a like um, be sure to subscribe for more tutorials um, thanks for watching